generally, if you get a situation in life where you're hounded and harassed by, well, somebody, anybody, a government department, you'll get to a certain point and you'll do one of two things. You'll either roll over and it will all fall to pieces or you stand up, waggle your finger at them and say, this has got to stop. Well, this is very much relevant with the child maintenance service. One of the uh, initial contacts I had when I, I arrived back home was from Noel Wilcox. I will stick a link to our most recent interview at the end of this video so you can uh, watch that. And it's very, very eye opening. Uh, and he said there is an awful lot of update about the child maintenance service we need to catch up on and talk about. I've had a look and there's been a fair few developments. Now, one thing I want to make abundantly clear, there are certain individuals online that are making some very disgusting comments regarding the child maintenance service. For example, I, I saw one individual who said that someone's a very bad father because they refuse to pay for their children. I think that person needs to give their head a wobble because it shows a complete lack of understanding of what's actually going on. You know, the other narrative that comes out is deadbeat dads refusing to pay anything so the child maintenance service gets involved again give your head a wobble uh, it's not worth the oxygen to go there you know but what we the situation we have seldom are parents left alone these days to, to sort it out between themselves when my parents divorced in the early 80s for example that's exactly what happened they sorted it out themselves but there wasn't a government department then which was going to screw everybody over. What is happening, the parents go their separate ways, and then the one that has to pay the child maintenance, there is not a true assessment of their income and their means carried out. It's inflated by 300%. Then an, an, an amount of arrears are added, and that collective amount of arrears, billions of pounds, it's up to about nearly, nearly four billion quid, is fictitious. It doesn't exist. So what's happening, of course, they're being chased for fictitious arrears they don't owe. My friend Paz on here uh, was one. I did an interview with him and he told his story. Now that had a kind of positive ending uh, to it. Hop across to his channel, go look at his community posts, and there was some wonderful news on there about that. Anybody like that that's you know, labelled a deadbeat dad, I, I think is absolutely disgusting. What these are are victims of a system which is designed to completely extort you. It's a scandal that's going to end up bigger than the post office, and it's been going on for far too long, getting an awful lot of traction. Now, I was encouraged to see this in the news. Uh, government vows to overhaul child maintenance service amid fears of scandal worsen horizon. Response from DWP labelled denial as a campaigner warns case law may challenge legality of fees applied to CMS liability orders. Now, that tells me that the government are starting to realise, hang on a minute, we, we might have a bit of a problem here and they're going to start looking at things. I've seen some other information as well uh, re regarding what the CMS are up to and it's it's, it's almost criminal. I could go as far as calling it almost criminal. You know, again, I can only emphasize if you are a parent who has got a problem with the CMS, go and have a look at cmswatch.org and, you know, file your information there to try and help the cause. And together we can get this stopped, get this sorted. And as it says in the video title, this has to stop. This is uh, the interview here I did with Noel Wilcox. Very, very informative. This guy knows what's going on and very much involved in getting it over and done with. Have a look. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.